I want to hit you with a couple thoughts here as uh, we close on the weekend here. It's almost the end of Friday. And uh, two things have been on my mind, uh, one all week and one that uh, really has come up in the last 24 hours. Uh, first, I want to hit the Formula One deal with the FOTA versus FIA uh, split that's going on here with the eight manufacturers saying, well, they're going to go their own way, start their own series, and then that leaves uh, Williams and everybody else uh, with, uh, you know, sticking with the FIA. And now just uh, recently, in the last couple hours, I think the FIA said they're going to sue FOTA. Yeah, I think we've been here before on all this. Um, for the last 10 years, we keep hearing how there's going to be a breakaway series, new Concord agreements back and forth, the issue with Max and Bernie and all this. Look, I, this is, it's a lot of smoke, it's a lot of BS, and it's a lot of, you know, who can unzip their pants and pull out their units and see who's got the biggest one. Uh, and it's a big game of chicken, too. It's just the egos are un, out of control on this thing. Um, there's no way that any of these guys can afford a split. I mean, we've seen what happened with American Open Wheel. We saw all the crap that happened here in America with the American Superbike Series and the bogus USSB Series. It's not going to happen. It'll all get resolved. This is all purely for posturing. Um, you know, stay tuned, and uh, I'm sure the, uh, this will change very quickly over the next couple of weeks. The, the second thing I want to uh, briefly touch on is the MotoGP race from, from last weekend at Catalonia. I've heard and seen on a lot of different boards and on Twitter about how this was the greatest race ever and uh, MotoGP is saved now that we have close competition and all this. Look, it, A, it was one race. B, we get one race a year that's good. And last year we had Laguna, this year we have this one. The question is, was it really a good race or was it just a good finish? If you go back and watch the, the whole race, the first couple laps is a little bit, and then it was pretty processional. I mean, one or two passes here and there, but it was pretty processional until about the last two laps when Valentino decided to go for it. And yes, it was a fabulous finish, and full props to Valentino. I mean, even Jorge said, you know, he comes to the last corner and thinks, I've got the win, and here comes Valentino. Ballsy pass, great, great thing. But it's like last year's race at uh, Laguna. The first two or three laps of Laguna made it a fabulous race. Casey crashed nine laps from the end, but other than that, it was, you know, it was an exciting race because it was the first time we'd seen close racing in MotoGP in a long time, and it's very indicative of the whole 800cc era of just the racing has not been good. It has not done anything of what Dorna has uh, wanted it to do, and the 800cc era is much, you know, it, it's almost Formula One-ish. You know what the results are going to be within a couple spots before the race even takes place. So, not to be a bummer on that, I'm really looking forward to uh, some of the stuff going forward. World Superbikes this weekend at Misano should be a good battle. Um, but everyone have a great weekend.